With the confirmed cases of the COVID-19 pandemic rising, scientists are searching for ways to prevent the virus from spreading including through surfaces. Recent studies have shown that the virus lasted the least on copper up to four hours, whereas it lasted up to two to three days on plastic. Copper against viruses. A study conducted five years ago on a different strain of coronavirus, the human coronavirus 229E, which causes respiratory tract infections, could still infect human lung cells after five days of existing on different materials like Teflon, ceramic, glass, silicone rubber, and stainless steel, while on copper alloys the coronavirus was rapidly inactivated. Media reports and public inquiries to Copper Development Association Inc. have noted several independent studies reporting antimicrobial efficacy of uncoated copper and copper alloy surfaces against human pathogens, including one strain of coronavirus, HUCO-V 229E, reported in M-Bio by Warns et al. There also has been widespread media coverage of a recent U.S. government-funded study conducted by researchers at the National Institutes of Health and the Center for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, reporting that the SARS-CoV-2 virus, which causes the disease COVID-19, remained viable for up to two to three days on plastic and stainless steel surfaces versus up to four hours on copper. Another study proved that bacteria, yeasts, and viruses are rapidly killed on metallic copper surfaces, and the term contact killing has been coined for this process. While the phenomenon was already known in ancient times, it is currently receiving renewed attention due to the potential use of copper as an antibacterial material in healthcare settings. Many studies have proved that drinking water from copper bottles can aid digestion because of its power to kill infectious bacteria. It is also said to help in weight reduction because of copper's ability to break down fat. The antioxidants present in copper are also great for your skin and reduces aging. When it comes to cooking in copper vessels, it has been proven that it conducts heat 20 times better than steel, making your food evenly heated and cooked. Eating in copper vessels has also been recommended due to their antimicrobial properties. Harmful microorganisms and other bacteria cannot survive in copper and therefore prevents the transmission of germs from food. All antimicrobial products marketed and sold in the U.S. are regulated by the Environmental Protection Agency EPA, to ensure the products are safe to use, and that advertising claims about protecting public health, and efficacy against specific pathogens, are supported by rigorous testing under EPA-approved protocols. Copper alloy materials are registered by EPA Reg -NOS. 82012-1-6 to make public health claims against six specific bacteria asterisk e.g. continuously kills greater than 99.9% .9 of MRSA within two hours of contact between routine cleanings. Considering the limited evidence against SARS-CoV-2 referenced above, further testing would be required to assess the effectiveness of copper surfaces, and to support EPA-registered product label claims against SARS-CoV-2. Laboratory testing shows that, when cleaned regularly, uncoated copper alloy surfaces kill greater than 99.9% .9 of the following bacteria within two hours of exposure, MRSA, VRE, Staphylococcus aureus, Enterobacter aerogenes, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and E. coli O157, H7. Copper surfaces are a supplement to and not a substitute for standard infection control practices and have been shown to reduce microbial contamination, but do not necessarily prevent cross-contamination or infections. Users must continue to follow all current infection control practices. Please note that no known cure for COVID-19 has been published when this video was uploaded.